Hey everybody, Mark Ignisi here in the back room of Norman's Rare Guitars. Welcome back to the final guitar of the day for the week. Woohoo! Oh, about to put this one to bed. I need some rest. I need rest. The boys, Norm and Joel, they'll be back next week. It's a whole new load of goodies. This is one I gotta sneak in. <laughs> I gotta sneak this in before. Before all the new stuff comes, I don't have a Strat. It's freaking Stratter Day. I don't have a Strat. But I do have a craving for guacamole. I love guac. Things from 1967. This is the original. Fender Coronado 2, Antigua finish, mm. Antigua pick guard, and of course, what guitar would be complete without a matching Antigua headstock. <laughs> Binding and blocks on the neck. Oh yeah. So this is where it starts, man. This is where that everyone's favorite color Antigua comes from. This was the first year of production on these, 1967. It's the first guitar they offered Antigua on. And then it comes back again in the 70s, and you start seeing it on everything. Strats, tellies, all this stuff. B basses, jazz basses, and Mustangs. Um, but this is the original uh, version. Uh, this is the Coronado 2. We've actually done one of these before. The Coronado was Fender's uh, dipping their toe into the, uh, the 335 kind of marketplace. They had never really done any hollow or semi-hollow body guitars. Uh, so this was their first crack at it. Um, this one has got the binding and blocks, which is pretty much in line with any of the other Jazzmaster, Jaguar kind of style guitars. Um, from about 66, uh, you'll start to see the binding and then obviously the blocks come in late 66 into 67. Um, this one's got two DeArmin designed uh, pickups for this guitar and it also has very similar to the Mustang vibrato it's just got a little bit chunkier uh, box here that really doesn't do much of anything tremolo is all right there uh, we got volume and tone for each pickup three-way pickup select matching headstock check out I got the old uh, pearl button fender uh, impressed tuners also very cool and very very clean original case I mean condition wise this thing is pretty fantastic man there's not a whole hell of a lot to talk about there's like a little tiny scratch here underneath uh and a little kind of hairliney thing right here under the bridge but that's all out of the way guitar is in really really killer fantastic condition oh it's the end of the week it's antigua <laughs> let's go to the couch we'll plug this guy in see what kind of guacamole sounds it makes man yum ole all right we're out front we have 1967 fender antigua coronado 2 original antigua finish two d Armin pickups we're going through the 65 reissued deluxe reverb today because the 64 from the custom shop got sold a few hours ago still looking at you fender <laughs> let's start up on that neck pickup let's see what this thing can do position. It's going to be a combination of those two D-Armins working together.
onto that bridge pickup, wide open all by itself. from 1967 original Fender Antigua Coronado 2 original Antigua finish matching Antigua headstock two DeArmond pickups binding and blocks on the neck with the original hard shell case that does it for another week of guitar of the day follow me on Instagram at Mark Agnesi follow the store at, at Norman's Rare Guitars and check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com you guys have yourself one hell of a weekend we'll see you back here on Tuesday for another brand new week of Guitar of the Day. Peace. Bye.